Greetings. You might be wondering where the heck I've been for the last couple weeks. Well, I'll tell you, I've been sick. But also, been finishing up a project, and I'm so excited to show it to you. That's why we're doing this little premiere thing today. If you don't know, I'm not live, this is pre-recorded, but I am in the chat here to answer any questions that you might have during this little special event. So, what the heck are we doing? Well, we've been working on something. As some of you might know, it's not just little old me working on these YouTube videos. My friends Dan and Sam do quite a bit of work and actually make my normal upload schedule possible. And last summer, we decided that, you know what? It would be fun to make a short film. And for the last few months, we've been planning and shooting and editing and doing visual effects and audio mixing and all that stuff for the short film. But we've also been working on something else. More on that in a second. But the first thing I wanna share with you is that short film. It was a whole lot of fun. It's a sci-fi action film. And for you youngsters, it's, it's rated PG-13, okay? But I'm so excited to share it with you right now. Let me know what you think in the chat and let's have a look at Time is Money. You have one unheard message. First unheard message. Hello, hunters. This is your final message. I trust that you're all aware of the value this item holds. Now that you have accepted the terms of the agreement, you will be sent the final coordinates of the packages. That's right. There are actually two packages. I figure this will make things a bit more interesting, don't you think? And remember, one device, one winner. Good luck. Hand it over. Please don't shoot. Give me the case. Look, it's gonna sound crazy. This thing, it's special, okay? I don't know what it does, but- Oh, I know. I just get the distinct impression that you haven't done this before. I know this is worth a lot of money. And you know, a second ago, I thought that's what I wanted, but this could help me. I don't have time for this. <laughs> 
just two of them. You know, what if, what if I help you find the other one? You did not listen to the message, did you? It said, one device, one winner. I don't know what happened, but one minute you were here, and then you weren't. You know, there's this now. funny little theory about the Mobius. It's a twist in the fabric of space where time becomes a loop. And unfortunately for you, you're just stuck in one of those times. What are you talking about? A twist in... What are you doing? If you leave it here, someone, someone else... Someone else will find it. Oh my god. Wait, no. No, 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 no. Time's up. No! This project was a ton of fun. It was great to get out and shoot and work on our lighting and camera and our production stuff because we usually just do post-production, always trying to improve. But the reason to make the short film wasn't just to make the short film, it was a way to build something that we've been wanting to make for a really long time. A complete end-to-end -end training title that showcases how to use Resolve and takes you step-by-step -step through the entire process. Check it out. Time's up. Hey everybody, Casey Ferris here. I'm gonna be your host for our biggest training title ever, Resolve 17 End to End. This is an absolutely massive class where we create a film from scratch together. Every step of post-production is here, from the first clip in the timeline to hitting that beautiful render button. We're talking editing, visual effects, color correction, sound design, everything. If you want to learn how to get things done in Resolve, this course is for you. We start with a folder of media and a completely empty project. And I'll walk you through my process of editing a film one step at a time. We'll learn workflow tips, slick ways of solving problems, and dive deep into the most essential features of DaVinci Resolve. You'll learn the basics of every page, and then we'll put those skills to work on a real short film. You're free to follow my every move or create your own masterpiece. We brainstormed what the most useful practical training would be for beginners and the most satisfying content for advanced users. And we built our dream course from the ground up. The course comes with over 18 hours of video training, along with project files, unedited media, royalty-free sound effects, and visual effects assets that you can use to build your skills and master DaVinci Resolve. If you want to learn advanced workflow in Resolve and make your own beautiful projects, there is no better way to learn, period. It's Resolve 17 end to end, available now at groundcontrol.film. We are so excited for you to check out this training. I really think you're gonna learn a lot. And I know for a lot of us, it's gonna be a little bit of an investment. But again, this is the product of many months of work and planning. There's over 18 hours of training. There's project files to follow along and the unedited, ungraded media that you can use to really build your skills in Resolve. We pretty much just tried to make the course that we think should exist for every kind of software. It's pretty much like a year or two of film school, all in one class and all focused on the newest version of DaVinci Resolve. Again, if you have any questions, post them in the chat. Let's take a look at what's inside the training. Hey everybody, Casey Ferris here. Just wanna give you a little tour of our Resolve 17 end-to-end -end training. After you buy the training, you'll have several zip files to download. And when you download those and extract them all, you'll have two kind of categories here. One would be video lessons. So this is the actual video training. It's split up into parts. We have some introduction stuff, things going over the media page, project setup, and then in part B, we get into editing. We start out with the basic overview of the edit page and move on to editing each scene and finally assembling it all together and doing several different passes to make the edit great. And we don't really jump into the cut page during this training just because this is practical training and we just didn't really use the cut page during the 
the post for this film. I do use the cut page quite a bit, but it's mostly for documentary kind of stuff, vlog stuff, multicam stuff. But for a film, edit page is where I like to stay. There in part C, we go into visual effects in Fusion. We start with prepping our timeline. Then we have an intro to how Fusion works in the Fusion page. We start out simple with some muzzle flashes and finally get more complicated later where we're cloning and making masks, distorting things and adding multiple different elements. This is a really nice section if you're trying to learn Fusion. Next, we go into color in part D. Again, starting with an intro of the color page, focusing on a few basic tools then color correcting the whole movie, matching the the shots in each scene, doing secondary corrections where we fix problems, get really picky about how each shot looks. We talk about creative looks that go over the entire movie, and we work through the film several times to make sure everything looks nice. Part E is mixing in the Fairlight page. We've had a lot of requests for Fairlight training, and I think this is a great guide, again, very practical shows you some of the most useful things about Fairlight and how to actually mix the film. Again, we start with an intro to the page. We level out our clips. We start to add some filters, add sound effects and Foley, do some sound design for our effects, and then of course, bring it all together in a final mix. Part F, final touches and delivery. So we make some simple credits and we render out our movie in the deliver page. We even do some troubleshooting because you know what? Not everything's sunshine and rainbows. This I think will be really helpful for anybody who has trouble with following along with the tutorials sometimes because we don't skip over any problems. We go back and fix any problems that arise. In addition to the video lessons, we also have work files. We have all of the unedited media, sound effects, visual effects elements, voiceovers. We have the music. We have ungraded log footage, which is in 1080p, H.264. This was shot in 6K RAW, but because of upload and download times, as well as the variety of different devices people are editing on, we wanted to make this really accessible and they still look great. In addition to the media, we have projects. So you can jump into the major steps at any time throughout the training. So if you ever get lost, there's a little checkpoint that you can go from. We also have the original script from the film, which we'll use for reference throughout the training and our storyboards, which are sketched by the very talented Dan Bernard. Overall, we just wanted to include everything that you'd need to make a film from scratch in Resolve because I think this is one of the best ways to learn is just by doing it. I'm so excited for you to check out the training. I know you're gonna love it. Anytime I'm looking at a class to figure out, is this right for me or not? I think it's really helpful to check out some sample lessons. So we're gonna take a look at a couple samples and you can see kind of the teaching style and some of the things that we're gonna be going over. Let's take a look. Scene two, shot three. This is her in the mirror again, but instead of looking back behind her, She's looking down at the seat. So what this is gonna do is set up our next shot. What we're really doing here is if she looks at something, the audience is always gonna wonder, okay, what's she looking at? And so it's great to have a shot like this where she looks down. So we'll just start an in right before she looks down. There we go. I'm just gonna grab this film strip icon here and drag this clip down because that's just going to give us the video without the audio. Since we aren't going to use the audio anyway, there's no point in dragging it down to the timeline. Delete that gap. And now we have this shot kind of setting up what's going to happen next. We need to trim this, but it's going to work fine. Scene two shot four is the gun. So let's have just a shot of the gun. That works. Just take a couple seconds. Again, just drag that down. So now when she looks, when she looks down, it's like, oh, what's she looking down at? Oh, she's looking at the gun. What we're probably going to want to do is cut this right after she looks down. So now she is driving, 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 looks down. What is it? It's the gun. Cool. Again, this training goes through the entire post-production process. So not only is it editing, but we also do quite a bit of visual effects inside of the fusion page. Let's make this a little more interesting. First of all, we don't want this to just fade in smoothly. I think it'd be cool if we made this a little bit more crackly. So it kind of blinks in and out a little bit. So one way that we can do that is go up here and click on spline. That'll open our spline panel down here. And we'll check blend on this flare merge and see right now we have this blend is animating. It just starts at zero and then it gets bright and then it fades out. One thing we want to do is select all of these and hit F on the keyboard, and that's going to make this happen a little bit smoother. So it kind of gradually fades up and gradually gets bright and then gradually comes down. And that pretty much always looks better than having that graph really sharp. So that looks nice. 
But if we want to make this crackle a little bit, we can actually just grab a couple pieces here and just make this a little bit more wild. Something kind of like this. It's where it sort of blinks on or off. And kind of gets crazy. So let's see how that looks. So now we have this. Yeah, it kind of starts to go whoop. It might be just a little much. So we can take this and make it a little less extreme, let's say. There. Just gives it a little more character. That's great. One of the funnest parts of post-production for me is color correction. And we have a huge section of color training within this title. Here's a little sample. And now we have three different possibilities here in our gallery. And if we switch to click on split screen and over here, if we say selected still grades, we can take our style node off of this and then just select all of these stills and we can see all of these different options side by side. And we'll just make this full screen so we can see it. And we can kind of get an idea of the different possibilities here. So this is our just primary correction. This is kind of that saturated green yellow. Here's more of that kind of cloudy purple. And then here's the kind of bluish cyan high contrast look. The question would be, which of these do you like better and which of these convey what the movie is about? I would say that any of these actually work. Um, this one that's warmer, I think works because it's more tinged green and seems uncomfortable. The one that is kind of purplish, again, just feels sort of fake in a way that I think is appropriate for a time travel movie. I think that could work. But I think I really like this bluish high contrast look. I think that works nice and we can kind of refine that to work pretty well. For what you're doing, feel free to play around with any of these grades and you can color grade this completely different than I will and that's totally okay. I get tons of comments asking for fair light training and believe me, it's coming. We're gonna have some fair light videos on the YouTube channel, but in our end to end training, we take a deep dive into fair light going over the interface as well as mixing the entire movie. Here's a sample. Yeah, I like that. Let's see, maybe take just some of the bass out though. That's good. Another thing we'll probably do is add a little compressor to this because again, like a compressor helps things just hit harder. We want these to hit pretty hard. So what we'll do is down here in the mixer under these three dots, Let's click on dynamics. Dynamics is in this little four square thing. I'll double click on that. And this way we can add a little compressor that'll just make these gunshots just a little more violent. So we'll hit alt forward slash. See how that just really feels like it hits harder. All we're doing is taking the really loud part of the gunshot and pushing it down. So anything that's over like negative 10 dB, and then we're boosting the whole thing up so that you hear more of the tail end of it and everything. Yeah, man, that's a huge difference. Okay, so check this out. This is with it. And this is without it. Like it just, it's a difference between really feeling dangerous and just kind of feeling okay. So this is just barely scratching the surface of what we've been working on over the past few months. I hope you enjoyed the short film. Consider checking out the training. You guys being wonderful and purchasing our training helps us keep doing what we're doing here on the YouTube channel for free, as well as make other cool stuff in the future. If you wanna hang around and chat, ask me any questions, I'll be in the chat for a few minutes. Feel free to hang out. And thank you so much for coming to this premiere. Hope you have an awesome day. Maybe days. You didn't think I was going to end this without an awkward ending, did you? It, I wasn't gonna.